Hello everyone, this is Luis Uribe from the Cisco DAX Server Virtualization Team. Today, I will show you how to configure an M2 hardware RAID storage controller on Intersite Managed Mode servers. The first thing is to identify the controller installed on the server. Click on Servers tab and look for your server. Then, go to Inventory storage controller and identify the M2 hardware RAID controller. Click on it and take note of the ID, mstore-raid. We will use this ID during the policy creation. Then we will configure the policies. Let's start with the boot policy. Go to policies tab on the left pane and select create policy. Filter by UCS server and select Good Order, then click Start. Give a name to the policy. I will name it M2 Hardware Rate Boot. Configure Boot Mode. This example uses UEF5. Select the boot options from the drop down list. I will start with Local Disk. Use a friendly name that helps you identify the boot device. On slot, enter the ID you saved previously from the controller, mstore-rate. I will choose a virtual media to map the ISO on the KVM. Then create. Confirm the boot options. Now, let's create the storage policy. This policy will allow virtual drive creation for the disks. Go to Policies tab and click on Create Policy. Filter by servers and select Storage. Enter a name for your policy. Enable M2 and select the slot for virtual drive creation. This example uses M2 RAID 1 and M2 RAID 2 option. Then create policy. Next step is to configure the server profile. In addition to the boot and storage policies, this example uses other policies not covered in the video. For further information on how to configure a server profile, visit the link in the description. Click on Servers tab and create UCS server profile. Enter a name for your server profile. Server profile can be assigned now or later. Select the boot policy that you have created and continue adding the policies of your preference. Select the storage policy. Verify the policies applied. Then click on Deploy. Once service profile is deployed, you can install your operating system. Launch the virtual KVM and map your ISO. Reboot the server and complete the operating system installation. You will see your virtual drive created. Thank you for watching.